five if you do, then you know it, it's uh, um, cost more. No, I'm asking more about the components, like the projector lens. All these things. Oh, oh, oh. Um, if I remember correctly. Um, probably, I bought, well, first of all, the most expensive component other than the LCD is going to be your light, yeah. because that's that's the heart of the projector. Like, the more light, the better quality light you get, the better. Um, so, that, I'm trying to remember exactly I think it's probably like two hundred and fifty dollars for like all the lenses and the light. Sure. Um, would be my guess. Um, but it's also it's a big one, so um, but like I said, the, the, the savings and the cost is um, a lot for the bulk because it's the difference between thirty dollars and three hundred will last a lot longer. So I mean that's where a lot of the savings comes. And then you get to a favorite bulbs from the lab. Actually, the, you can get bulbs from any sort of like aquarium dealer. Um, but uh, you can get them from the lab, yeah. Sure. Any other questions before I yeah, what about this thing? I, I missed the beginning. You recommend HID yeah. bulbs? And it's because of the color and the, and the strength? Yeah, metal, metal halide, HID, lens. Because the color is uh, it's, it's very, well, it's 6500K, uh, color correct, and a ton of light, and it's not, um, it's, it's efficient as well. <coughs> what yeah. size and resolutions uh, LCD screens are usually found in like, commercial uh, projectors? Well, that's an interesting question because um, there's a few different technologies out there for commercial projectors. Uh, what is it, DLP, which uses actually uses small mirrors, actually has a like, little unit of like tiny, tiny mirrors that redirect light to make, to make up different pixels. And then we'll use either a filter or actually an array of these little mirrors to like simulate the RGB. Um, but there's also commercial projectors that do use LCDs. And I can't really answer that question because I've never taken uh, you know, this <laughs> apart. Um, but they, um, so yeah. I was just wondering them. because, I mean, it seems like you get a higher resolution picture despite using you know, a higher resolution. Yeah, no, the, uh, that's true. That's true. So the resolution will be up to the LCD. Yeah, um, the, that would be one of the factors, as well as like you know how clean your lens is, <laughs> um, which actually becomes a factor when you're building. Because I'm kind of a hasty builder, so um, the quality you see from my projector is you probably do better than me. Um, but there's also you know uh, high definition um, displays.
this is this is the, the ball. So that red box is the ballast. And as I, as I mentioned earlier, the ballast um, is what basically it helps the, the light bulb strike an arc, um, like an actual electric arc, to to produce the amazing amount of light that, that this bulb um, produces. But the other thing the ballast does is once you get that arc struck, um, it provides a resistance so the bulb doesn't basically melt down. Um, because once it once you get the the, the arc going, um, it, it'll just continue to get uh, less and less resistive and your bulb will uh, well, you say it blows up, but I've never done it. <laughs> I've always used the ballast. Uh, and then um, also I have a reflector there to help reflect the light where I want it. Um, also, what I, uh, something I didn't mention was a, uh, this is a piece of you know, glass off of an old flatbed steamer. Um, the reason I put it that in there is, is for a sort of a heat shield, um, because the metal lens is made out of plastic. <laughs> but I learned the hard way um, how much heat builds up in there if you don't have a fan and it's a sort of heat shield. And let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching movies on my ceiling one night when I noticed the image started getting funny. And that's because my Fresnel got hot and sort of slumped. So how much is that going for? Uh this one's I mean but uh, it's it's a good lens. I mean, it's nice and thick. Um, and this is, well, I'll fix that later. And then here's my LCD screen. And here's the camera lens. And all that stuff is just down at the bottom. And that's all from the LCD screen. I didn't. I uh, no. I I actually I didn't do any soldering here. I don't think I I did some soldering for my my light switch. That's about it. Everything else just just the power cable. Yeah. Just power out. I have. Let's see. I'm, I'm powering my screen. I'm powering the ballast, and I have uh, a 12 volt. Uh, transformer powering this main. Okay. And then I have two switches on the side. One switch controls the, the light and the LCD, the other controls the fan. And that's just so I can leave the fan on after I want to do it to like pull it cool down and sort of fan. It's like the idea. <coughs> These five sticky this, this fan is, is, is an exhaust fan. Yeah, like technically, I mean, I have another fan, and I probably could make one and not, and then uh, pulling the fan and one and pushing the fan. Um, but, I think that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's kind of it. And, yeah, good in the sun. So you treat the glass. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be uh, ideal. Um, but I found this glass <laughs> in a flat, right? flat bed uh, scanner um, outside this building. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, uh, I used it there. This, yeah. this is the mirror? The first, this no, there's no mirrors in here at all. This is, this is a Brunel lens as well. Oh, fusion too. Yeah. See, uh, the way I... <coughs> For, for optimal performance, 